Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is what's in the box in regard to this box right here. This is the dice game Not Dice with a K-N-O-T, Not Dice from Black Oak Games. Black Oak Games kindly sent us a review copy of this game that I'm going to be opening up tonight. Now, I will, a uh, little spoiler, this has been opened once. I did open it up um, to take a quick look at it, but I haven't seen, like, the instructions or anything else in here. So we're going to take a quick look at what you get in a copy of Not Dice. Alrighty, so here we have Not Dice, a uh, small box here for ages 8 and up, 1 to 4 players, 15 to 30 minutes play time. You can see the back of the box here. And the main thing we are going to see in here, I think, are some really cool looking dice. So there we go. We have at the top some counters in four different colors. And we've got a bunch of dice. We'll take a quick look at these counters. There are two in each color. We have white ones, which I can kind of show off over here. Yellow ones, each with the same knot pattern on them. And there is also blue and black ones. Note, I have not played this game, so I have no idea what the counters are for. There's some little tiny text here at the top of the box. I'm going to take a look at it. It says, rule books are behind the cardboard tray. Video instructions at notdice.com. More dice and games at blackoakgames.com. So, of course, the highlight here is going to be these dice. These are really sweet looking. <laughs> not work dice. We've got various sides on here. You've got a point. Bumped curve, a loop, cross, another point, two bars, and I think that would be all the sides. Now I'm trying to make sure I don't have any. If you can count numbers, it's a little easier. This curve we hadn't seen before. We have a grand total of three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18 dice, they're nice, chunky, good weight to them, seem like they roll pretty well, and from what I understand of the game that I know about it, you are going to use this to try to make not work patterns. Just throwing something really rough here together. Well, that actually won't work there. That'll close off that corner and so on. This out, and there we have the box and the instructions. Well, there's a couple different things here. We have puzzles and games. So that's kind of cool. Two different rule books in here. So first off, we have puzzles. There is an introduction showing the various sides of the dice. I'm going to try to throw that over here. So showing the different sides of the dice. The different six faces and some various complete designs, what a path is concerned, how to keep scores, and so on. So we have 18 dice, 8 wooden tokens, a game book, and a puzzle book. Um, so here we have is a whole bunch of puzzles, which is just your goal is to try to make the patterns on the puzzles using the dice you have on hand. There's a bunch of completion puzzles too, complete transformational puzzles. We have a whole bunch of those. There's a playing board. There's your scoreboard. Hopefully you can download these online. I don't know why you'd need a playing board. And then you have creation puzzles. Form a vertical and some symmetrical. Building puzzles, wall puzzles. All kinds of different puzzles here. So these would all be soloable. You'd be able to play these soloable. And then a number of games. This is a significantly thick book. We are looking at 35 pages. 34 pages of games. That's pretty impressive. That's a lot of games. It's going to take me a while before I can review this one with this many different games. So again, you have an introduction showing the different sides and how to connect them. And then different games. So the first game in here is Kells. It takes up one full double-sided page. Then we have Kells the Book. 
And I am not going to go through all these. Kells the Abbey. So there's all kinds of versions of Kells. Some of these one to three players. This one's two players called Not So Fast. Not So Fast 2 is three to four players. Celtic Yard is two players. Again, right in the center of the book is another playing board and scoring sheet. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. Me trying to do Gaelic is just going to be embarrassing. Uh, it looks like those tokens at some point you will actually put onto your boards to use them. Of course, there's a blue token there. Sorry, it won't show on my camera. Snakes, again, is using um, the tokens as well. So they're not just for keeping score. That's a lot of different games. Holy cow, there's one called Distance and so on. I'm not going to bother going through the rest of these. A ton. How many we have? We have a total of 32. 32 different games that can be played. And 16 different types of puzzles. And that's what you get with a copy of Not Dice. I think it made sense to keep these underneath, so I'm going to throw these back underneath. I'm going to throw this back on top, so this looks like it's going to be a little fiddly to get back in. Very cool looking dice. Looking forward to trying out these different puzzles. I love the look of these dice. Nice, solid, chunky dice. Got a nice weight to them. They're actually etched too, so you don't have to worry about them getting scratched. Etched and then inked. Looks very cool. Everything fits back in the box fairly nicely. That's it. That's what you get with a copy of Not Dice. All right, so there you have it. That is what you get with a copy of Not Dice from Black Oak Games. 18 really cool looking dice. Two booklets, um, one with puzzles and one with games. Ton of different puzzles, ton of different games, a bunch of different ways you can use these very cool looking dice. Thank you very much for joining me. Again, I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can find me all over the internet at tabletopbellhop.com um, or on social media as tabletopbellhop, one word. For those of you here on YouTube, be sure to hit the I up here and check out the cards with links to all of our content. If you did appreciate this video, please consider tipping the bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. For the Tabletop Bellhop, good night and game on.